It was last Tuesday when the Ever Given brought a significant amount of the world's trade to a halt to the tune of $9 billion a day. The 1,400-foot cargo ship stuck in the Suez Canal. Monday, it was finally freed after an all-out effort by canal authorities. We could see delays anywhere between five, seven, ten days, depending upon um, how quick this moves. My understanding is commerce and cargo is moving as we speak right now. Bill Doyle, executive director of the Maryland Port Administration, told 11 News that there are several ships either bound for Baltimore or to Asia from Baltimore that have been impacted. We have ships that are heading north uh, from the Red Sea into the Suez Canal that are now at anchor. We have three ships within the canal uh, that were stuck as a result of the grounding. And then we have another four uh, vessels that are above um, the anchorage that would be heading to Asia. So how does that affect us, the consumer? There have been several reports that the delayed shipping could affect everything from lawn equipment to coffee, even toilet paper, something that was a real issue at the beginning of the pandemic. And so when the Suez Canal can't operate, uh, can't function normally, that very much affects the flow of goods into North America, including in to Baltimore. Economist Arniban Basu told 11 News consumers might see a short-term increase in prices of some goods, but overall, the supply chain should return to normal. I don't expect to see the kinds of shortages that we saw early in the pandemic when global supply chains were really under pressure and goods couldn't be produced at all in many cases, let alone shipped. And more port news to tell you about. We understand that new cranes will be coming in in the coming months to help unload those very large ships to make more and more containers available to go to and from the port. We also understand that the Port Administration has expanded the comment period for the expansion of the Howard Street Tunnel, which is expected to break ground sometime in September. In Canton, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.